Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Sharice Gibson and I'm Katie Moore. Louisiana homeowners battling high insurance costs are hoping they may finally see some relief. Well, that's if a package of new laws play out the way top state leaders hope they will. Mike McDaniel joining us now in studio to explain what might change moving forward, Mike. Well, hey there, ladies. Insurance, of course, is something we have covered extensively throughout the legislative session, and there are now some new laws on the books. The governor and the insurance commissioner say these new laws are designed to make some changes to the marketplace, while critics say the insurance companies are getting the better deal. We're hoping that this... With Governor Jeff Landry's signature Tuesday, a package of what he called reform bills is now law. These bills begin the process of addressing our property insurance crisis. Landry and Insurance Commissioner Tim Temple hope the four bills will drive down costs for folks to insure their homes. These bills were all designed to help create confidence back in Louisiana marketplace. After some costly hurricane seasons, many insurance companies doing business in Louisiana went out of business. Others simply stopped writing policies. A lot of homeowners were left with unaffordable policies. Every day, families are facing financial stresses. Many people are choosing to go uninsured. The first bill repeals the expiration on the fortified roof program. The second will phase out Louisiana's unique three-year rule, which prevents insurance companies from dropping policyholders after three years of coverage. By phasing it out, we're simply creating an environment where uh, insurance companies are going to be attracted to come into the state. That law also allows insurers to drop up to 5% of policies every year for any reason. The third bill speeds up the approval process for insurance companies to do business in the state. The fourth aims to streamline the claims and payment process. Corporate welfare at its finest in the guise of deregulation. President of the Greater New Orleans Housing Alliance, Andronika Morris, supports investing in the Fortified Roof Program, but says the other changes aren't consumer focused. These other bills are a tragedy waiting to happen, that people are actually going to be dropped by their insurance carriers with no warning. Morris says poorly managed investments over the years from state and federal levels for safe and secure housing have helped create the current problem. She says these new laws aren't the way to fix it. It's this notion of us having to be pleasing to insurance companies and having to be pleasing to corporate interests when the fact of the matter is, is that if they're in if they're in business to do business, they should care about their customers. A statewide poll released Tuesday by the Times Picayune New Orleans Advocate shows most voters polled disapproved of how the insurance crisis is being handled. Temple, a former insurance executive who pushed for the legislation, says he knows some of the changes aren't popular but necessary. But they bring Louisiana back in line to the mainstream where other insurance companies operate successfully in other states. All right, so don't expect to see immediate reductions in your insurance policy costs. Any changes could take a little while to happen. Governor Landry says if prices don't fall, lawmakers will continue working on a way to make it happen. Sharice. All right, Mike, thanks so much. And just within the last hour, the Louisiana House voted to call a constitutional convention. The vote was 75 to 27. The measure next goes to the Senate.